Hey guys and welcome to part 12 of the Chance Family Let's Play. So the beginning of this part is actually going to be a little bit different because I realized in the middle of recording that I wasn't recording my voice. And because I really liked what happened, I didn't want to redo everything, so I decided to make a quick voiceover over what happened and show you quickly what happened in the beginning of this part. So first of all, I'm pretty sure that you saw that Willow has had a promotion at work, which is really exciting. And Natal came back home from school with a mood swing, so he was mortified. And I was actually kind of stressed out that he might die, but apparently it's okay for teenagers to have a mood swing like that and have this mood. I don't think they can die. I haven't had that many mood swings when I was playing on my, on my own, so yeah, I don't really know anything about this. And so something that I really wanted to do for the beginning of this part was to go on a date with Dan. And this is actually why I didn't want to redo everything, it's because... Dan actually called us out on a date and I previously, before starting recording this part, I placed a restaurant in San Maishuno, but he actually invited us to the restaurant that I've built. And we actually went to this restaurant when we went on a dinner date, or actually rather a dinner, with Richmond for Natal's birthday, you know, trying to rekindle their friendship and things like that between Willow and Richmond. And so Dan invited us out on a date there, so I didn't want to redo everything about that. And so then, when we arrived at the restaurant, I decided for them two to be seated at a nice place so that we can have a nice view of the beach. And I then realized that Richmond was having dinner with his ex-wife, Miranda. So I didn't keep an eye on that because I really wanted to focus more on Willow and Dan's date. But that's actually kind of interesting. And Willow was also, she needed some fun, so at the beginning of the date, I had her tell a lot of jokes so that her fun need would go up. And honestly, I'm so, so happy on how this date went, because they had such a fun time. Every interaction they did was going so well. They had a really, really nice time. And at some point during the date, um, Willow is going to have the interaction saying, or actually discuss her fear of commitment, and I didn't click on that, and I explained that because Dan is a family guy, if he knew that Willow had a fear of commitment and she had some commitment issues, he wouldn't want to go into a relationship with her because he's a family guy, he has children to take care of, and if he, if he goes into a relationship with someone, he really hopes for that person to be committed, you know, to really want to go forward in their relationship. And we know she's still questioning herself about, does she really want to go into a relationship with someone that she may stay with until she dies, or does she still want to just have fun with people and go back to what she did before having Natel, which means going from a relationship to another one and you know she's still trying to figure out how she feels so I'm not going to have them both become boyfriend or girlfriend after this date but you know we, we know she still needs to figure out how she feels this is actually the first time she went on a date after um, after Natel was born basically so yeah, she's still trying to figure out what she wants, but she's really having a nice time with Dan, she really likes him. And I think we know she matured a little bit, you know, she, she grew up, she's now becoming a full-grown adult, even though she only has 19 days before becoming an elder, which is... I mean, I'm pretty, pretty sad about that. And thankfully, I remember to give her, or actually take for her, a vegetarian meal. Vegetarian safe meal. So I'm really, really happy with that. And so I think that Willow and Dan are going to go on another date, just maybe to make things official. Or we're going to have to see if Willow, she really wants to go into a relationship, basically. And even though she hasn't been having the stressed mood yet because she's been stuck in her career, probably because she's been having promotions on promotions, if she starts a relationship with Dan, she's going to feel stuck into this relationship. So, this is why actually I didn't want for her to go into this relationship right now, but maybe wait for a little while and then see, see what we can do. And there I actually bought a reward trait for her, because I remember that she had a 
a few a few traits or actually a few satisfaction points actually so i decided to give her i think the great kisser trait i know that this is something that doesn't really serve us but that's all right you know i thought that this suited willow perfectly you know she's someone really romantic she likes she likes flirting with people actually she liked flirting with people but she hasn't done that in a while and this is also why i'm not sure if she really wants to go for Dan, you know, she's he's the first guy she's been hanging out with and feel, having feelings for in so long that maybe she wants to see somewhere else if there's someone else for her. Or maybe not, maybe she's going to be happy with Dan, you know, we'll have to see in the future. And look at this setting, I mean, the island of Rindenburg is really, really beautiful. I definitely not play enough in that island, but it's so beautiful, this the sunset, the nature, the sea, everything is beautiful. And this is when the fear of commitment showed up and I really didn't want to go for that. And at first I came across the confess attraction a couple times, but I didn't want to do that right away. But in the end, I'm going to have her confess her attraction to Dan, you know, because she she thinks he's attractive and she's been thinking about him quite a lot and apparently he did as well if he asked us on a date so yeah i've had her in the end confess her attraction to him and yeah i think they had a pretty nice time and their relationship is really improving so yeah they really had a really really nice time together and this is also why i didn't want to redo everything because that went so well that i didn't want to restart anything And so then our food came and of course we had the usual, you know, talk about the food, how good it was, how nice it was, and I'm pretty sure that they had both a great time and they they were pretty happy with their food. So yeah, they talked a little bit about this. And this is also when I remembered that Dan actually had the gluten trait because he was eating so weirdly that... This is when I checked for his trait and yeah, he has the gluten trait, but he's such a nice guy, you know? I really think that Willow can be happy with him. She just has she just has to get over her fear of commitment and finally go into a relationship with someone maybe at some point. Because I really don't want for her to end up alone. And so after they had their dinner, I had them both stand up so that they could embrace each other, hug each other, hold hands, all that kind of thing. But also for them to share their first kiss. So yeah, Willow and Dan had had their first kiss during the di this dinner, which is really exciting. And now I'm going to resume the live commentary. So once again, I'm really sorry about this kind of messy thing. And yeah, I hope you will enjoy the rest of this video. It's the next evening, Natal is now at the arcade, he came back home and he actually became an A-grade student, which is really, really great. Uh, so for the rest of this part, I actually want for Natal to hang out a little bit with the, with the buddies who are all here right now, so I'm just going to play the game. And I also wanted for Natal, Willow and Richmond to spend some time together because I would like for Natal to go and spend a weekend with his dad. Uh, first of all, I would like for you to, I don't know, tell an engaging story to your friend and talk a little bit to Samir because you haven't been spending that much time with him. Rave about growing up, boast about messing around, I don't know, express admiration maybe to Samir. And then I would like for some of them to play cards together. With who though? Uh, you know what, we're gonna go for Samir, Amy and Alexander. Sorry Lucas. So yeah, I would like for Natal to go and spend some time with his dad because he... I mean, we've seen Richmond hanging around for quite some time now, so I think he wants to reach to reach out to Natal and maybe he asked Willow to... if it was possible for him to have Natal for a weekend and... Now that Natal is a teenager, maybe Willow asked him if he wanted to go and spend some time with his dad and of course Natal would love that. So yeah, next... I think in the next part we're going to be playing with Natal and Richmond, which is going to be pretty interesting and really different actually. So the good thing about them playing cards together is the fact that 
this is actually going to be working on his logic skill because this is something that he needs to do for his inspiration and also he needs some fun and I'm pretty sure that this is working on his fun needs. Uh, so as you may have seen, I actually have Natal read three books, which is really cool. So this way we just need to work on his logic skill to move on to the next um, milestone of his aspiration. Um, so what I was actually thinking we could do is go to one of the districts of San Maishino. I was thinking, thinking the fashion district because this is where uh, Richmond lives. And maybe you know because Willow she's going to drop off Natal there. You know, she, they can just go there and eat a little bit together before Natal go, goes and spends some time with his father. Oh, apparently Amy lost already. And maybe he can actually talk a little bit to, to Amy. Where where did she go? She's there. Maybe we can talk about the buddies. Oh, we can whisper about Crash. Let's go and whisper about Crash. Because what, what I'm imagining actually is that Natal has a little bit of a crush on Amy. He thinks she's kind of pretty, she's different from all the other girls. Oops, lock the door, no. <laughs> So yeah, she's different, so maybe he's talking about her about his crush, but he's not telling her who who this is. And then maybe ask about her day. And I would like for them to maybe hug it out. Also, I've been watching at Natal's character values, and what I saw was that he's in range to earn the responsible traits, which is really nice, but I would love for him to have the emotional control traits. And I mean, he's not that far from having the empathy trait, so maybe at some point we're going to have him volunteer with Willow. I don't think he's going to do that kind of thing with Richmond. So I'm thinking that we can go and volunteer with Willow at some point. But for his emotional, emotional control, we can apparently do some interactions on radios or instruments or jog to clear their mind. So maybe we're going to have Natal start working out a little bit so that we can we can have this emotional control trait. So it's 6 p.m. right now. I think Natal had a great time with his friends. It wasn't really that long, but he. I think this was something that he needed. So yeah, maybe just talk a little bit more with them. Show off selfie. I mean, with Alexander, it's really fine. We don't really need to work on their relationship, but maybe more on Samir and Lucas's relationship with Natal a little bit more. They're not really that close. They're friends, but they're not, they're not that close. We need to work a little bit more on that. Then what I'm going to do is send Natal and Willow into the fashion district so that they can, they can spend some time with Richmond before Willow drops off Natal to Richmond's. Alright, so we're now in the fashion district and I'm really, really sad because look at that. This is the overlapping glitch and they, this was supposed to be fixed with the last update, but no. It's apparently not fixed and it's just awful. So I don't know where we can grab some food actually. So, oh, what is that? You know what? We're going to go somewhere else. Also, as you may have realized it, I've moved Richmond in just for this once because I think it's going to be easier for us to control him, you know, not to... Because I want for them to, for all of them actually, to eat together outside, not going to a restaurant because we actually went to a restaurant earlier in the part and I just want for all of them to eat a quick meal together, you know, for some food that we can have from the food stands and just spend some time together. And this is why the overlapping glitch is kind of annoying, so... Yeah, I think if we go if we go to Maishino Meadows, we can actually order some food there. And it's still sunny over there, so that's nice. Uh, so what we're gonna do actually is go down there. Oh yes, we can have some food here. So order food. Oh, is there something vegetarian safe? I don't think there's anything vegetarian safe here. Well anyway, Richmond can order something. Uh, he's gonna go for pork adobo. And Natal, you're really really hungry and you need actually a little bit of a, ch of a shower. Uh, you're gonna go for some Olympia. And we're gonna wait for Willow. See so if something else opens. This way you know she can order some food. That could be great. But yeah, I would like for all of them to spend some time together before... Before Willow leaves Natal to Richmond for an entire weekend, which is going to be a first for them. And Willow actually wants to help Natal with his homework. Well, you're gonna do that next time. And you want to buy a litter box, but you already have one. Uh, so, Willow, you're going to evangelize vegetarian benefits, because 
it's not nice what you're doing. Heard you got a promotion, congrats. Oh, that's nice, but we're kind of busy right now, Bella. Next time. Maybe we look and go and spend some time with Bella during the, the weekend, you know? This is going to be the first time, actually, that she's going to be alone without Natal since... Well, since he was born, basically. Uh, let's go and tell the dramatic story. You didn't eat anything and you just scrapped out your food. Natal, can you in... You can go and eat the, this fruit salad. I don't even know why it's in your inventory, but anyway. But I really want for Willow to say everything Richmond needs to say about Natal, how nice he, he should be. Oh no, it's spoiled. Natal, are you serious? Oh. Okay, you're going to order a little bit more food. Lumpia, let's go for this. Willow, what's happening here? I can't get you out of my mind. Oh, this is actually the restaurant that I placed for their date. Well, we went on a date yesterday, so maybe another time? And we're also kind of busy right now, so next time. What are you doing? We do... There's no vegetarian safe food here. What is she ordering? Okay, so because I can control a rich mod and I'm really not used to that, let's have him talk a little bit to Natal, because I'm pretty sure that Richmond he is maybe a little bit stressed out. This is the first time he's going to spend that much time with his son, so he's probably kind of stressed out and their relationship isn't the best, so he needs to work a little bit on this, but he really wants for them, for their relationship to work, to work out. Express his admiration to his son, because his son is pretty smart. And praise for good grades. Oh yes, we need to do that because Natal is now an A-grade student. And then maybe they can have... Maybe not a deep conversation right now, you know, it's just a casual... Casual outing with the family. But maybe they can just hug it out, you know, just have a nice hug together. Oh, and Richmond reached parenting level 2, that's cool. Oh, that's nice. I'm sure that Wheeler is really happy right now. You can have all of them in the picture. Oh, maybe not. Well then, never mind. Okay, Wheeler, you can go and praise your son for good grades as well. I mean, he's been working really hard on this and you're, you've been helping him. And then, oh, we can maybe offer him some career advice. I mean, Wheeler, she wants to show off that she's been promoting and promoted and promoted and promoted, you know? What level is she actually? Oh, she's level 5. That's great. So maybe she just wants to show off to Richmond. See, I've been really successful without you. <laughs> that would be so mean, actually. Brag about top title. Let's do that. Oh, Natal wants to use a bold pickup line on someone. I'm sure at the moment we will be starting to flirt with someone and with Natal. I would feel so awkward, you know. I've been seeing him as a little boy for so long that... I don't know. Seeing him as someone who can flirt with someone else, that would be so weird. What's that? Shut down. Of course Richmond should. Mm, kiss hands, offer rose. No. Discuss embarrassing mood. I don't know. We can maybe brighten her day, you know. He's trying to be nice. Heartfelt compliment. Where is Natal going? Oh, okay. That glitch again. Well then, I'm going to leave, let him... Do his own thing. Or can I stop him? Yeah, go here, Natal. Natal, where are you going? Oh, I think he's going to ask an advice to his father. Is he? Oh, no, he's not. Well then. Oh, okay. So Natal just asked an advice to his father. That's kind of interesting. Making friends. I really want to be friends with someone, but they don't seem to really want to be friends with me. How can I make them my friend? Just keep being friendly, make a one grand friendly gesture. So he's actually asking to his father, which is really interesting. Maybe he just wants to have his point of view on things, because he's only has been having his mother's side, you know, his mother's opinion. So maybe now he just wants to have his father's opinion on things. And I think Richmond would tell him, make one grand friendly gesture. Oh no! The empathy decreases. Uh, how are his character values? Well, it's not that bad, but we can still work on it. So what I'm going to do actually is have Richmond 
Hug, hug, just hug friendly, friendlessly. Willow, give her a hug. And then Willow, she's going to hug lovingly her son before leaving him to his dad for the weekend, which is... I'm pretty sure that she's sad and happy about this at the same time, you know? Wow. First hug of Willow and Richmond in such a long time. That's cool. Natel, come here. You need to hug lovingly your mother. Widow would be the one starting the interaction. Friendly. Hug lovingly. <laughs> she thinks my son stinks. Of course he does. Oh. <laughs> Look at Richmond over there. Oh my god. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that we know she's kind of stressed out right now and I think I'm going to end this part here. So next time we're going to be playing with Natal and Richmond, which is going to be really interesting. And in any case, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye everyone!